Hello, so today we'll be doing another electrolysis example, this time with aqueous copper sulfate, copper 2 sulfate. So we must know that this guy is blue color, right? Aqueous copper 2 sulfate is blue color and I'm using inert electrodes here. So that means the electrodes conduct electricity but does not react with the solution. So I hope that you all were, the sequence is always the same but I want to go through the examples with you. So let's uh, pause the video here and do the labeling and then try yourself first before continuing okay right so i hope that you tried uh, to do this and now let's label it okay i'm going to use red for this positive negative so negative electrode positive electrode electron flows this way so this one is gain electrons this one is lose electrons this way okay uh, within this solution, I have copper ions, 2 plus, sulfate ions, 2 minus, H plus because solution, OH minus. Uh, copper goes this way, H plus goes this way, sulfate goes this way, OH minus goes this way. Okay, on the positive electrode, I have both sulfate and OH minus. On the negative electrode, I have copper 2 plus and I have H plus. Okay, on the right side, okay, the, cop the positive electrode. On the positive electrode, I have sulfate and hydroxide. And then you must remember that uh, we have learned that sulfate will not react in electrolysis. Never. Sulfate and nitrate. So hydroxide, you will choose the hydroxide over here. Okay, so for hydroxide, we have done this several times already. So uh, maybe you can spend some time practicing it right now. I'll just quickly write the half equation so that you can remember. Okay? So OH minus equals the product is oxygen and water. And to balance this, I think it's like that. And then there's four negative charge, so four negative charge over here. Okay, and this is uh, loose electrons. And then loose is, uh, this is loose electrons? Loose electrons, so this oxidation. Okay, description, explanation we have done before. So please watch the previous video to recap. Alright, so this one is oxidation. So this is an anode. So this one I will not like to do because we have done this before already. Okay, let's look at the negative electrode. So in the negative electrode, now I got new competitor. It's copper and hydrogen. So I know please stop calling me a cute zebra. I like her calling me sexy goats. And here is hydrogen. And here is copper. So now this is very interesting because now hydrogen is more reactive than copper. Right? It's more reactive than copper. So last time all the metals all never cannot fight with hydrogen because hydrogen is less reactive. But now copper is less reactive. So now copper will be selected. Okay? The less reactive one will be selected. So now copper Cu2 plus equals form, right? Uh, will form copper metal. Okay, and then I will balance this equation uh, by putting two electrons. Wait, let me erase this side away. By putting two electrons over here. Okay, two electrons. Okay, because there's two plus on this side. Oh no, it's wrong. Okay, cool. It's wrong. So here, plus two electrons over here. So I gain, and then this is a reduction. Right, now this is something new, right? So copper 2 ions is from the solution and then I form copper metal. So I see copper metal. So copper metal is a brown or sometimes some of you want to call it pink solid. So description is that the brown solid will form. Brown solid form on negative electrode. So what is happening is that it looks like a electroplating, right? The the copper will form like over here. It will slowly coat this, it will coat the electrode. Okay, so a brown solid will form on electrode. That's one description. So uh, the electrode will also gain in mass. It will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so electrode gain in mass. Right, electrode gain in mass. And then the copper ions inside the solution will get lesser and lesser, right? So we write down first, concentration of copper ions will decrease 
And actually, the copper ions in the solution gives the solution the blue color. So if the concentration of copper ions decreases, the solution will decolorize. So the blue solution decolorizes. So this three brown solid form on the electrode, the electrode will gain in mass. And then because the concentration of copper ions decrease, the blue solution will decolorize. Okay, so the explanation again, location at the negative electrode, right? Uh, Cu2 plus copper 2 ions are selectively uh, reduced to form copper metal. Is that okay? Alright, so that's one thing that you must notice. So over here, uh, OH minus remove, copper remove. So because copper remove, the solution decolorize, right? But then you must also not decolorize. You must also notice, star, star, star again, that after the reaction, what is left behind? H plus and SO4 minus. So what will happen to the pH? Because OH minus goes down, H plus remains the same. So the pH will decrease. Why would the pH decrease? Because concentration of OH minus decreases while concentration of H plus remains the same. So because of that, concentration of H plus become more than the concentration of OH minus and because the concentration of H plus is more than the OH minus the pH will decrease will be lesser than 7 okay so step 1 OH minus decreases while H plus remains the same concentration of H plus becomes more than concentration of OH minus so therefore pH decreases Okay, so quite, quite a few things, right? So first thing you must notice is that uh, the Cu2 plus is selected for, and then because the H Cu2 plus concentration decreased, so the blue solution decolorized, and then also because the OH minus concentration decreased, but the H plus remains the same, so then therefore acidic solution at the end. All right, so practice, all the best, all right?